All right, you have one other um, data transformation option in Jimovi, and it's to what, what is my screen doing? And it's worth the time to do it this way if you have the same scale you've used quite a bit. So like in this particular data set, doing the opt-in occasionally, sometimes never, you can see that this was the answer to several questions. And so if you have a data set where you've done something like this, this is, it takes a little bit longer up front, but it's definitely worth your time. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to the data tab. And again, this is on our Jimovi software that I'm a fan of. Again, I get no kickback from this. I just think it's a great software. Um, so right here on this first variable you're wanting to transform, you're going to double click and it's going to open up this window. Okay. Um, now I'm going to say we're going to shorten these names because again, it just ports over directly over from Google Forms to Google Sheets. So I'm going to say social media buy. Okay. And these are my levels that I have on this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here while I'm, I have this variable selected and I'm going to click transform. And this is going to create a brand new variable right next to it. And you can see all it did here was duplicate it, right? It put another two by it, but I'm going to change this. So what I'm going to do is come down here to create a new transform. And I'm going to call this often to, or wait, not often, never to always scale. Okay. I'm going to tell, I'm going to add a recode condition and I'm going to say, if the source, you need to do a double equal sign. So do two equal signs and then a space. And that's going to get you over here. Now you have to do capital A capitalization spelling and everything exactly corrected, or it won't work. I'm going to do a single quotation mark. And I'm going to say, if source is never, and I can see down here, I used a capital N. So I need a capital N up here. Close my quotation marks. Use one. I'm going to add a second recode condition. If my source equals space, single quotation mark, occasionally, close quotation mark, I'm going to use a two. Add a recode condition. If my source double equal sign, oops, too far, space, single quotation mark, sometimes, I'm going to use a three. If source double equal sign, oh, for heaven's sakes one over is often I'm going to use a four and if source double equal sign space always I'm going to use a five okay so now I have my never to always as a five and if else use that basically means that there's missing data if someone didn't fill it out I always use 99 for missing data. That's how I was trained in grad school. And now you're going to click enter. So you'll see, and I want this actually transformed. I want to make this ordinal. So what you're going to see is this has converted all of these, but is it has also saved this transformation to on my never always scale. So what that means is I can close out of this. And now I want to use that same one over here. Or wait, this is the one I just did. I want to use that same one over here. How often do you post on social media? Okay, so I'm going to change the name to often post. And it's going to tell me, obviously, here I still have these same levels. And then I'm going to click come up here, click transform. And if you come down here to using transform, it has saved my never always scale. So I can click this and it automatically does it. I'm surprised it didn't enter my 99. Huh. Anyway, um, so you can do these for all of your always and never and sometimes and often scales. 
and you can just keep going. And so that will save you using the copy paste method that we just talked about but it will allow you to create this shortcut. So if you have a lot of Likert scales of strongly agree to strongly disagree or strongly satisfied to strongly dissatisfied, it's worth your time to go in and program this. It can be kind of annoying making sure that you get everything capitalized exactly right and spaced exactly right, but it is absolutely worth your time if you have a specific response pattern that you've used over and over and over and over in your data set.